continuing with learning how to graph the trigonometric functions, we're going to look at tangent and cotangent. And tangent and cotangent, although we're going to use an identical method, are very different from the other four because they have very unusual shapes that aren't related to the other four, and they also have different key points than the other four. So let's look at the graph of tangent and cotangent to begin with. Tangent is the only one of the six trigonometric functions that doesn't start at zero. Okay? In fact, instead of being its first key point, zero is its middle key point. Both of them have asymptotes, just like um, secant and cosecant had. And they look very similar. Only tangent moves up and cotangent moves down. Now, a couple things about these. Okay. First of all, instead of a first and fifth key point, it's actually the coordinates of the asymptote. Okay. So here it's 0 and pi. And here it's minus pi over 2 and pi over 2. Second of all, the quarter points, as I like to call them, which are the second and fourth key point, have a very different function than in the other trigonometric functions. Okay. What the quarter points tells you is essentially how curved the graph is. So if you look at the points that fall there, their y coordinates are that 1 and negative 1 that we're familiar with from all the other trig functions. So amplitude here is not how tall the graph is, like it is for sine and cosine. It's not about how much space is in between the horseshoes, like for secant and cosecant. Amplitude is about how curvy the graph is. So the amplitude is the distance from the center to the y coordinate of one of the quarter points. Okay. So let's look at an example of each. Now, when we're solving this, the y-coordinate setup has not changed. So our center will be at 2. Our high will be at 2 plus 1 fifth. And our low will be at 2 minus 1 fifth. Same procedure we use for the other four trigonometric functions. Now, when we're finding our key points, we're once again going to take it five times, the piece that is inside the parentheses. But instead of the key points from the other four trigonometric functions, tangent and cotangent have their own unique set individually. So tangent, it's minus pi over 2, minus pi over 4, 0, pi over 4, pi over 2. In addition to them being different and not starting at 0, we also notice that they are much closer together than the key points of the other four trigonometric functions. Okay. Also, because it's over fours instead of over twos, they make it a little bit harder to solve for the new key points. Okay. You get eight pi, negative eight pi over nine, negative five pi over nine, and once again, once we have the first two, we can use a repeating fat pattern to find the rest. To get from negative 8 over 9 to negative 5 over 9, I added 3 over 9. So I'm just going to keep on adding 3 over 9 each time. Okay. So now I'm going to set up my axes. label my x-coordinates, label my y-coordinates. Now, because I'm drawing tangent, I'm going to need asymptotes. 
And the asymptotes are always where the first and the last special point are. Okay. Then the center special point always has y coordinate the center. This is a tangent graph, so it's moving up. So the first quarter point has the low y coordinate, and the third quarter point has the high y coordinate for this graph. You notice this one is much curvier than the original, and that's because the amplitude was so small. So a smaller amplitude makes the overall graph curvier. A bigger amplitude makes the overall graph less curved. Okay. Now, let's do another example, a cotangent this time. You notice there's a negative sign in front. As before, negative has the, uh, turns the graph uh, upside down, essentially, so it will flip it, meaning that a negative cotangent will move up, just like a tangent does. But it's still gonna have the quarter points of a cotangent graph. So my center will be negative two, my high will be negative two plus one half, and my low will be negative two minus one half, I'm going to take the thing inside parentheses and set it equal to the five special points of cotangent. Now the five special points of cotangent are different from even tangent. They are 0, pi over 4, pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, and pi. Again, I solve each of these. I get negative pi over 6 pi over 12, pi over 3, 7 pi over 12, and 5 pi over 6. Okay. Now we move to the graph. are the first and last special point, and the center one has a y-coordinate at the center. Now, here's where I need to remember that I'm doing a negative cotangent graph. Traditionally, cotangent moves down, but negative cotangent will move up. So the first quarter point is low, the third quarter point is high. It's still a relatively curvy graph because the amplitude of one half is small, but it's not quite as curvy as the one with amplitude one-fifth. 